What's up guys? I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. A place where we ain't fancy. You shut your mouth. We are not fancy. Okay, a little fancy. If you were like me, when you first started woodworking, nobody told you anything. <laughs> I always thought just having a shop vac around to collect dust was enough. But what you may not know is that the filters in these aren't really designed to handle like that much sawdust. So let me show you. This is the shop vac that I've been using for dust collection. I've tried to keep up with changing the filter and whatnot, but I can tell you it's been a bit and this probably is a little full. Yeah. See, that's not good. Shop vac is doing its job, right? It's sucking up the sawdust. But those fine particles of sawdust just end up clogging up your filter really bad. And once it's fully clogged, it'll just burn the motor up in this thing. Now that's a fire! So today, we're gonna fix that. Let's get to it. So I've been doing a lot of research on dust collection. I was gonna put a bigger system in the garage, but after I start looking at the size of some of that stuff and the duct work and things like that, I think my shop is just too small for something big enough to run on multiple tools with like blast gates and stuff. So with that being said, I did decide to go the portable route with one of these guys. I did go with the deluxe kit that comes with the buckets and the hardware and all that jive. The opinions are about 50-50 on whether you want to go with the deluxe kit or if you want to go with the cheaper version, which I think is just the Cyclone and then you a la carte the rest of your pieces. Today, I'm going to go with this one because this is the first one I've built. I figure this will take out a little bit of the headache. Some of you are handier than I am and you may want to go with the step down version and fabricate the rest of the stuff yourself. You're looking at a difference of about 40 bucks. So if you can do it for cheaper or you have the buckets already laying around or something like that, uh, that may be the option for you. But this one came in at about 100 bucks. I will link it below along with the cheaper version of this if you want to go that route. Also, and this is not necessary for this project at all, I did buy a new shop vac. So I just went ahead with, with this guy. Honestly, because it was on sale. But you can absolutely do this project using the shop vac you already have. I didn't draw up plans for this in SketchUp. I'm going to take my measurements off the device as I assemble it, AKA, I'm making this up as I go along. Yeehaw! So normally, next thing I'm gonna assemble this, but I'm probably not gonna put the feet on it. I don't know if I'm gonna put the handle on the top. I don't know if that's necessary. Maybe, maybe not, we'll see. We're gonna take our measurements off the top of the bucket because that is the biggest circumference that we have to deal with. Is it cir circumference? Radius? Circumcision? I don't know. It's the big part. Also, most of the builds, they were making the entire thing out of three quarter inch plywood. I feel like it's gonna make it heavier than it needs to be. I do have this piece of three quarters that's left over, so I'm gonna use that for the bottom. But I think I'm gonna make the rest of it out of half inch. Okay, okay. <laughs> we got this dog, we got this. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. We got this dog, we got this.
Okay, so we've hit a slight snag. We put this on. This needs to hook up to there. <laughs> we got this now, we got this. This isn't the configuration that it's supposed to be in with this kit. This kit actually has it, it rides right behind it. This kit actually has it designed to roll behind the shop vac so that hose doesn't have to be that long. That's gonna take up too much space. I knew this was gonna happen. I didn't realize it was gonna be so hard to find two and a half inch tubing. I went to Lowe's, Home Depot, and Ace, and none of them carry it. Uh, Rockler does, but I can't make it over there today. So, I guess we're done for today, and we'll just have to start tomorrow. I'm sorry, what's that? You want me to do what? Did you say you want me to put a little? Stank on it. I believe that can be arranged. Little Hand says, it's time to glove up. Today brought to you by Athena, or Polished Copper Unicorn Spit by Artistic Vivation. moment of truth. We got everything hooked up. I think I haven't turned it on yet, so we will see. But what we want to do is turn it on, uh, suck up some sawdust, and see if any of the sawdust makes it into the shop vac, or if it all goes into the dust deputy, the bucket on top. And if you don't have random containers laying around your shop with sawdust in them, even build, bro? And there we have sawdust. Look at that. Nothing. There's not even anything in the filter. All right, guys, there you go. Quick, dirty build. Time for the paint job that it probably didn't need, but you know, unicorn spit and fire. The biggest problem I ran into was uh, the hose from the kit didn't reach, so I did have to run to Rockler and pick up, uh, pick up a replacement for that. I would say if you're building this particular system, like this, stacked on top of each other, I don't know if I would go with the full Dust Deputy kit. I think I might just go with the Dust Deputy and then get your own bucket and kind of do the rest of that yourself. But So buying the more expensive kit probably didn't really benefit me a whole lot here. Uh, if you do want to do their setup where it rides behind it, this setup's probably great for that. You get the wheels, you get the mounting hardware to attach to your shop vac, and if you've got the room for it, that probably works just as good if not better. But that being said, this thing sucks. I'm super pleased with the amount of suction that I'm getting out of it. I don't feel like I've got any voids or there's any air escaping anywhere. When I was vacuuming the floor in here, if I would try to do that with my regular shop vac right now, it would not pick up nearly that much dust because you, saw, you guys saw how dirty the filter was. So all in all, if you're making a lot of dust in the shop, I highly recommend building yourself some sort of dust collection. Uh, this is a pretty cheap way to go, but effective. So for my shop, this works perfect. So guys, if you like this video, if you want me to do more shop furniture, go ahead and hit that like button, comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. It helps me out more than you guys probably actually realize. And speaking of helping me out, I'd like to say a special thanks to all of my patrons. I have a single shout out that goes to 
Elizabeth Lanou in Springfield, Missouri. I, I did shout her out in a vlog, but that seemed weird. And as always, a special thanks goes to Nick the Greek, Stephen Mann, Easy E, Derek Coates, Caveman Ross, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy Muffins, Chaz Thompson, and Mike Penrod. Special clinkies to the Boilermakers of the group. Alright guys, that's it for this build. Now I gotta get to work. Cleaning. Microphone test one. Microphone test two. Mic test. One, two, one, two. That being said, it sure does suck. Cheers.